Hey guys, my name's Plev, and in this DCS F4E tutorial, we'll be covering the automatic flight control system and stab aug system in the F4E. Coming down to the left, we have the AFCS panel by our left hip. The first three switches we'll talk about are the yaw, roll, and pitch stability augmentation switches. The yaw and pitch switch should remain on at all times, while the roll switch should be disabled before entering combat. This is because rudder is used to roll at high angles of attack, and the roll switch will cause the aircraft to fight you when doing that. It's important to note that the three stab aug switches function to control the stab aug submode of the AFCS, which is entirely independent from the AFCS mode of operation. We'll get into that a little later, but just know that the three of these must be flipped up in order to engage the AFCS master mode. With all three switches enabled, you'll notice that your flying is quite a lot smoother. However, if you attempt to pull high AOA and deflect the rudder in order to cause roll, it's not nearly as effective. Let's come back down to the left and disable roll augmentation. What you'll find is that when pulling high angles of attack, you're able to maintain control of your roll using your rudder at lower speeds and higher angles of attack. Coming back down to the left, let's enable our roll augmentation once more before we start to talk about the AFCS master switch. The AFCS master switch right here will, if the three stab augs are engaged, attempt to hold attitude or heading. With your stab aug switches enabled, go ahead and trim the aircraft so it holds the nose on the horizon. Coming back down to the AFCS control panel, flipping the AFCS switch will engage the AFCS submode. Flipping that switch will enable the AFCS submode, which will assist you in flying the aircraft providing auto trim and attempting to hold maneuvers and attitudes within range of plus or minus 70 degrees of pitch or bank. According to Chuck's guide, if the AFCS switch is engaged when the airplane is in less than a five degree bank from wing level, then the airplane will maintain a wing level attitude. However, if the Phantom is in a greater than five degree bank, when the switch is enabled, then the aircraft will hold that bank angle. When the nose gear steering button is pressed, the heading hold mode will either engage or disengage depending on if it's active. When we disable heading hold by tapping the nose gear steering button, we enter attitude hold mode only, which will attempt to hold the aircraft's current pitch and bank. Finally, when within plus or minus 1,000 feet per minute climb or descent, we can come down to the left and enable altitude hold mode, assuming all of the other switches are already flipped up. The aircraft will attempt to arrest its climb or descent and hold its current altitude. When flying with AFCS mode enabled, the aircraft will automatically provide pitch trim to the pilot, assuming there's no control stick maneuvering going on. In case of exceeding 70 degrees of pitch or bank, the AFCS should automatically disengage. Besides the 70 degree bank angle and pitch angle limit, the aircraft also has a negative one to positive four G limit in AFCS mode. When you depress the emergency quick release lever, which I recommend you bind to your stick, the aircraft will temporarily disable the AFCS autopilot. And with all that said, I hope this helps you guys enjoy the Phantom more. Happy flying and stay safe.